Saint Sebastian was a Praetorian guard in the service of Emperor Diocletian of Rome. Although he was a Christian, an offense punishable by death, he managed to conceal his faith for several years. During that time, he helped Christians who had been imprisoned by the emperor and converted many others to Christianity. Eventually, he was discovered and denounced. Diocletian publicly scolded him and sentenced him to die by being used as a live archery target. Saint Sebastian was taken to a field and tied to a tree. Archers fired dozens of arrows at him and struck him so many times he was described as a porcupine. Despite the brutal attempt to execute him, he survived and was rescued by a sympathetic Christian woman, identified as Irene of Rome, who would later become a martyr herself. After his recovery, Saint Sebastian decided to publicly denounce Diocletian for his foul treatment of Christians. By knowing the places the emperor went, Saint Sebastian was able to await Diocletian at a staircase he commonly used. When the emperor appeared, Saint Sebastian cried out in a loud voice, criticizing the emperor. While Diocletian was surprised and taken aback, he recovered his composure and ordered Saint Sebastian arrested. This time, Saint Sebastian would not survive. He was beaten to death on Diocletian's orders and his body was dumped in the sewers where it was expected it would never be retrieved. Saint Sebastian then appeared in a vision to a Christian woman named Lucina, and he asked her to find and retrieve his body, which she dutifully did, and she buried him in the catacombs beneath Rome. In subsequent centuries, his remains were moved about and some were separated to become venerated relics across Europe. Saint Sebastian is the patron saint of soldiers, athletes, and those who desire a saintly death. His feast day is January 20th. His icons commonly depict him tied to a tree and shot full of arrows. His actual death is rarely depicted. He is an example of a person who is dedicated to God, even in the face of certain death.